imagine in the French Revolution, they used to use guillotines to decapitate people, right? So you can imagine this big guillotine right here, and there's an executioner who has this big axe. And in line to have their days come to an end is a, an attorney and a doctor and an engineer. And so the attorney steps up and, you know, he says, I want my blindfold off and I want my head up. So they lock him into the guillotine, right? He's got his head up. The executioner cuts the rope. The guillotine comes down and psh, one inch away from cutting his head off. And the attorney has done his homework. The guillotine's, or the, the executioner is pretty embarrassed at this point. But the attorney's done his homework. He says, well, you know, on chapter four, you know, paragraph two, it says if there's a malfunction in the guillotine that the accused gets to run free. And the executioner says, oh, you're right. You get to run free. So off he goes. So the doctor steps up and he says, same thing, real, you know, arrogantly, blindfold off, head up. So they lock him into the guillotine. He swings the ax, cuts the rope, <laughs> guillotine comes down one inch away again. And doctor says, rules are rules, you got to let me go too. So it lets him go. And so the engineer steps up, he says the same thing, blindfold off, head up. So they lock him into the guillotine, look up, and the executioner is in his back swing, ready to cut the rope. And all of a sudden, the engineer looks over, he says, wait, 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 wait. I think I see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so moral of the story? Don't look for problems. <laughs>